Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Venom Vlog and today we are heading down to uh, the comic book store. Uh, I just want to pick up some books and one of them is going to be the new issue of Venom Inc. I believe uh, in The Amazing Spider-Man. So we're going to pick that up. Sorry about the light changing here. Um, it's just uh, bright out and then it's dark out and then I'm in shade and all that. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching the episode. If you want a free code to the Venom Inc. issue, it's right here. I'll put it right there. Enjoy that. Let me know what you think about it, whoever wins it, and let's get on with the episode. So there is actually a bit of movie news that came out today. Uh, we heard about Woody Harrelson. I talked about that in my previous video. And I'm like I said, as movie news comes out, I'm cramming these in because I pre-recorded like four or five episodes to fill in the blanks on on weeks that there's not a lot of Venom movie news. And I was anticipating on posting one or two of those this week. And now I'm just like, oh, wow, we got a ton of movie news coming out. Uh, not, a, you know, not big news obviously uh, but I did want to talk about a few things uh, or at least one thing that was mentioned before because I mentioned it in my previous one of my previous videos where I wasn't sure I knew they were filming in Atlanta but I didn't know if they were actually setting the story in Atlanta or if it was going to be set in New York or it was going to be set in San Francisco like it was in Lethal Protector um, and it turns out that that was confirmed uh, by the director that it is taking place in San Francisco so that is where the story is going to be which is really awesome um, I think you know that's a that's what Lethal Protector was and so it's true to that storyline. It wasn't Planet of the Symbiotes. I think that took place in New York with Spider-Man and Scarlet Spider and the Clone Saga and all that madness. Um, but uh, to to go in this with, uh, you know, really establishing, you know, Venom as his own character, because that's obviously the goal here is they don't want to have a lot of ties to Spider-Man. And they think they can tell a, a story with Venom without Spider-Man. And I think it's possible, too. I didn't at first. But I'm, I'm pretty convinced after dissecting the character and looking at who he is and what you need to get him on his journey, I think it's entirely possible. And yeah, the spider powers, you know, it's like, well, how does he shoot webbing and all that stuff? Well, he never really did. He kind of shoots like the symbiote. I think he kind of reproduced a, a, like a, a, a fake type webbing at one point too. Uh, but really, you could just have him leap around. You could have him, you know, use his symbiote to pull him. He doesn't really have to move like Spider-Man um, or Venom in the comics. He could just be like a, a monster. Uh, and I still will buy that I mean that's fine to me because that's kind of similar to the ultimate version of the character as well but here I did want to talk about Atlanta filming on Twitter at Atlanta filming I'll put their link down in the description box so make sure you check out their page because they post a lot of like uh, things that are filming in Atlanta they post a lot of uh, behind the scenes footage of uh, not not a ton not enough to where it would get them in trouble but I think it's some deal they have with these movie studios that they can show a couple of behind the scenes stuff that are happening out in the public so I think there was like an Iron Man with uh, you know with Wong shot for Avengers Infinity War and now what we have here is four pictures of Eddie Brock and he's actually rocking a motorcycle and this is pretty interesting because I, I want to say I've seen an, uh, an issue or so where he's been on a motorcycle but it's not like it's not part of his character. Like you, you don't, he doesn't rock a motorcycle all the time or anything like that. It's not like he drives around one or anything, but the motorcycle is not a big deal to me. I mean, it doesn't matter. He, he had to have a car or something before. I mean, he was a New Yorker before, so it makes sense if you're moving him to another city, maybe he has some way of transportation. Um, and, uh, and then maybe this is it. So we got the motorcycle or he could have just has it in this one scene for a chase sequence. Cause what you'll see in some of these, uh, scenes is like this shot here you'll see a car on fire there's like an suv that is probably either life foundation or government or something and maybe they're coming after him because they know either he had contact with the symbiote or maybe the symbiote's on him at this point in the movie we have no idea for all we know the clothes he's wearing are the symbiote i mean yeah the symbiote normally will be in black and he's wearing like a gray hoodie but the symbiote could be on the motorcycle uh although that would be weird because the motorcycles get hot it might hurt the symbiote but again learning its weaknesses so, you know these are all things that could be happening in the movie so atlanta filming says here you go hashtag eddie brock and his motorcycle that flies um so i guess there's like harnesses and rigs hooked up to this thing and at some point it's gonna leave the ground and again like i said possibly symbiote related so um yeah so then a couple of these other shots i'll just flash them up real quick here uh, i'll just have them rotate a couple times there's only four pictures so i don't have a ton to go on or show you guys uh but these four pictures just show tom on a motorcycle and the the caption there though i thought was really interesting the motorcycle that flies so again a lot of practical stuff in this movie they're trying to make this as much practical as they can because Venom himself, from what I understand, is completely CG. And if Carnage isn't in this movie, and I'm guessing and I hope they save Carnage for the end of the movie and he's just like the third act thing where you're like, all right, Venom's struggling. He, you know, he's faced with his decision and there's a possible invasion coming and he's trying to find his place in it. And then 
when he thinks when you think he's just going to be a bad guy, something worse like Carnage comes along and it makes him do the right thing. Um, um, this is all speculation on my part. Obviously, this is something I've been talking about in all my videos, but it would just be cool to see what they do. Like, I, I just I want to know what's happening. But in this sequence in particular, I'm interested to see in what way the symbiote will lift the motorcycle off the ground or if maybe he's just ramping off a car and it's just going to be like a sequence like that but either way i like that they're doing it practically they're doing a lot of uh, things here i'm sure they'll touch up some things in cg obviously the symbiote if it makes appearance here will have to be in cg uh, but again i think ruben fleischer he's just a smart director and he's got me intrigued for this movie i'm i'm down and enough to start a whole vlog series on it um so yeah let me know what you guys think of these pictures down in the comments below and i think on I, i'm using my kindle i use it a lot uh, for movie news and stuff like that and report to you guys they're the sale for comic books i think is still going on um or they're just the normal prices so there's a lot of venom graphic novels there's a lot of uh, Spider-Man graphic novels with Venom in them that are like uh, really cheap on Kindle right now. So I highly recommend checking them out. I'll try to put a couple in the link down below in the description box. Um, but yeah, I, if you have a few dollars out there, five, ten bucks, could probably get you two or three of these things. Uh, and they're, you know, full graphic novels. So I say if you want to learn more about the character, check it out. We're always tuned into this channel. I will talk about Venom ad nauseum for the next year. So as always, thanks so much for supporting my channel. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the future. Peace.